Oh, stop rolling away. Back here. Um, I'm actually in the shed tonight. That's quite pleasant outside. This is an IKEA solar lamp. Um, bought it about three or four years ago. Um, it cost like five or six euro. It wasn't very expensive. Um, solar panel on the top. Open it up. There's a battery there, so the solar panel charges the battery and on off switch there and at night time the light comes on. This bit is just a, a reflector inside a plastic tube. Um, <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> uh, a bit burpy tonight. Uh, we had curry for dinner. It was quite nice actually. Spinach and curry. That's a dangerous combination. So yeah, uh, I don't actually know which model it was. Cause <laughs> Pulled off the labels. Um, they aren't making this particular model, but they are making models that use this same similar uh, lighting arrangement. This just this bit's different. It's got like perforations and it's all fancy and it's like I suppose it's like something you'd see on the set of the English Patient, I suppose, wouldn't it? Because um, it's got all these like I don't know. The English Patient was a weird film, really. It was like you know, it was like a. Uh, to be honest with you, it's kind of like um. Ray Fine's getting ready to play Voldemort, and uh, in that one, uh, that film, that Harry Potter film, which I've never seen, but anyway, that's like Star Wars, I've never seen Star Wars, but a uh, software engineer who's never seen Star Wars, eh? yep, they do exist. Anyway, um, I want to talk about this as, I think this is a really clever design. It's a design born of efficiency. Well, Ikea are probably producing these by the millions, because you know how Ikea works, the, the store that deals in... Uh, Frustration and broken relationships as you try to put stuff together and discover it. I've got a screw left over. Um, so anyway, let's just take it apart anyway. Yeah. Yeah, just when I'm doing this, I thought I'd tell you about my cousin. Uh, well, my cousin, me. I have a cousin over in England, didn't we? And um, he's a doctor, and uh, unfortunately, uh, he's been struck off the medical register. Uh, for ethics violations. Um, he fell in love with a patient and ended up getting into a relationship with her. And uh, yeah, so apparently that's just a no-no. Uh, the fact that he's not married doesn't matter. Um, you know, you don't, you just don't get involved with a patient if you're, uh, if you're a doctor. Uh, so now he's been forced to uh, close down his veterinary practice. So anyway, um, I have modified this. From what I purchased it. This was the original battery, AAA battery. It was um that's what came with it. I don't know what the milliamp hour rating of this battery is. It says here 1044. I doubt that's what it is because most AAA batteries, even top end ones that are rechargeable, wouldn't have 1044 milliamp hours, probably seven, eight hundred. The one I actually replaced it with is um only a seven hundred and fifty or something milliamp hour battery. That's a never ready. Is it ever ready? No, Energizer. I get the two confused. Energizer board ever ready. Like battery hens, they're ever ready. That's a uh, 700 milliamp hour. Oh, there you go, 700. Not nice to know. I've got a screw loose over here. Never mind. So, let me unscrew this from the. housing. Actually, I want to show you something before I do that. Silly me. Uh, what was on and off? So, I've taken the battery out. That's not going to help. Let's put the battery back in. So there it's on. Right. And it discovers darkness. Um, if I bring some light over, switch is off. So, keep that in mind, as I switch it off. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the circuit, if I can get this LED through. What do we have? Well, this uh, chip here is a CL0116. The only markings on this chip are 0116. Um, it took me a bit of time to find it because just searching for a, a chip with 0116 and not knowing what kind of chip it was. 
bit of a challenge. Turns out it's actually a um, chip link 0116 LED combined with a solar charger controller. Um, so it's an LED driver combined with a solar power charger uh, controller. So it's quite clever. The circuit is quite simple, really. Uh, what you have here is your solar charger coming in. This power from the solar panel comes in, goes in here, and the the solar charger chip combined with the LED driver chip has four pins. There's a common ground pin, a uh, load pin which goes out to the LED, a pin that goes to the battery, and a pin that comes in from the solar charger. And what makes it quite clever is that they've they've doubled up on a function using the solar pan the solar panel. Now, if you're developing a light that switches on in the dark automatically, generally you'd use some sort of photo transistor or photo diode. Uh, say, for example, using a photo transistor. A uh, photo transistor is like a regular transistor. It has a, a collector which takes in a current and an emitter that emits it, but it also has the base. Uh, sorry, the controller and. Um, and that uh, was when the current comes in there, it switches on the collector and emitter controllers. Um, with a photo transistor, you've only got two. The base current is coming in, coming in from the uh, the light itself. There's a photo photoelectric sensor that generates a current when light falls on it. And if you use that to feed into another transistor, you can switch it on when it's uh, dark. Because I'll anyway, you know, it's it's complicated, but I'll do, probably cover it in another. And another video of diagrams. But uh, what we have here is um, a very clever chip. It takes in a if it sees a cur if it's switched on here, so this switch is on. If it sees power coming in here, coming in from here, it assumes the battery is to be charged and it switches off the light. And it does that by uh, using this inductor. There's a circuit which, if you, I'll, I'll put a link to the data sheet uh, for chip link. So basically, long story short, is because the waveform coming out of that is AC and it's all up and down, uh, the inductor prevents that getting through to the LED, and it goes straight to the battery. However, when it gets dark and that's covered up, uh, the 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 power coming off the battery it's directed somewhere else. So there's no there's no power being pushed into the battery. It's it's coming out. So anyway, I'll put a link up to the data sheet. That makes sense. Um, it's actually quite simple, really. No, it's. I like this kind of design. It's simple. It's straightforward. It's designed for mass market and mass production. And one of the things you notice about this is if uh, I can zoom in here. So this is coming in from the solar panel. So you got the live and the negative. There appears to be a surface mount resistor here that isn't connected up. Because it says R. So that's an assumption I'm making. But yeah, there appears to be at some point there was going to be a resistor here. And if you look at videos of other people doing teardowns of IKEA electrical stuff, it's particularly the stuff that's produced in huge quantities. That seems to be a common trait. It seems that no, there is markings on the board for components that aren't installed. And I suspect IKEA is constantly tweaking the design. Uh, they produce something using a resistor, a capacitor, or whatever in the design. Suddenly decide, can we save a bit of money here? A couple of cents, really, because they buy them in bulk. And uh, if they can, they go, let's leave it out. Because if it works and, it, and we don't need it, yeah, whatever, let's go for it. Uh, and to IKEA, you know, saving 5, 10, 20 cents per device over a production run of hundreds of thousands, potentially millions. Well, that, that, that adds up, you know what I mean? That's um, Mr. Ingvar Kamprad. He's a clever guy. So, so yeah, basically what we have is a very clever circuit. Instead of using a photo transistor or a photo diode or a photo resistor or whatever to control whether the light switches on or off in the dark, they just use the existing uh, solar panel. It's clever, really clever, and I like it. And the beauty of this is, it's right for hacking. Um, like, I'm very tempted to change this diode for something else. I'm not quite sure what, but I might want to put in a more powerful uh, white LED, possibly. Who knows? Um, I've even got, like, thinking, oh, you could put stuff in here, like uh, prisms or some sort of, like, uh, per 
triangle pyramid to diffuse the light. Um, it's even a possibility you could even increase the cut out here or here and put in a bigger battery, like a double A instead of a triple A. But yeah, but this circuit, very simple, very effective, very clever. Um, honestly, the cost of IKEA is is hardly anything. You can buy these in bulk. You know, if you buy them by the hundred thousand, this uh, zero one one six chip, you could probably buy them for about uh, ten twenty euro, uh, dollar cents each. LED, probably the same price. The inductor, we couple of cents. Price of induction, uh, injection molding or whatever. You're probably talking maybe a dollar to produce this whole thing. And uh, adding the cost of delivery and marketing and all. You know, it takes up maybe to a dollar fifty, two dollars. So when you're paying this, no. Uh, we, we paid five, six, say five euro for this in dollars. That would be ooh, six dollars. So there's probably a fair bit of profit margin in this right here as well. No, this is These are just figures I'm taking off the back, no, back of an envelope figures. But I'm sure if you looked into them, they'd be pretty accurate. Um... So yeah, also the battery as well. Probably buying them in bulk by the million. Because no, they're sure they use them for other uh, products they make. So they're probably paying, what, 25, 30 dollar cents each for those. Anyway, like I say, simple design. If you've got something like this from Ikea and the battery stopped working because, you know, you've recharged it and decharged it so many times, just open it up and replace the battery. Easy done. Very easily done. Uh, let's not you know, dump this into the... The waste because this ain't going to biodegrade. Sorry. A nice design that I happen to really like. There you go. Bye bye.